In this video, we're excited to introduce our two new smart objects, roof shingles. To apply these roof shingles, we'll start by creating roof planes from this box. This can be done by the Modify panel or by using our new A Helper plugin. Once the A Helper plugin is activated, you can select any object and modify base object's parameters like this. First, let's set the length of this box to 300 units and adjust the width to, for example, 360 units or even 400 units. By holding Shift, you can increase the size incrementally by 5 units. You can set the height to 280 units like this and review all the parameters, which are visible here. Next, with the actions enabled by this our new plugin, you can apply an Edit Poly modifier. Within the Edit Poly modifier, you can perform various actions. For instance, you can bevel the top plane, set the height to 150 units, and you can adjust the offset to minus 150 units. We've now created our roof planes. However, we need to weld the vertices. To do this, simply execute the welding action and adjust the threshold accordingly. Before and after adjustments, you can see that the top vertices are now welded. Once this is complete, you can merge our new smart objects. To merge these smart objects, you can use a helper plugin again. In the file menu, you'll find the merge object option. Here, you can merge the file, which is available for free download from the link in the video description. You can merge your objects in the file. Once they're in your scene, place them where you can see them and use them easily. To start using these new roof shingles, you have two options, square and honeycomb shingles. If the working plane of a helper is obstructing your view, simply close it. To use these new shingles, go to the Modify panel, open Smart Object Properties Rollout, and press the Build New from Edge button. Next, you can begin selecting the roof hips and ridge, allowing you to build the corresponding shingles for these sections of your roof. Additionally, you can organize these objects into a new layer. For example, you can name this layer Roof 1 Hip Ridge. Once you're done, close the plugin and proceed with applying the shingles to the roof's planes. Building these shingles requires only a few clicks. To organize these new shingles, use the plugin once again. Ensure everything is correctly selected and add the new shingles to the appropriate layer. As you can see, the new objects are now added to their corresponding layers. And if you want, you can turn off this layer and apply the second type of shingles for comparison. You can follow the same steps. Start with the ridge and hips of your roof by picking specific points. Of course, you can organize them into a new layer. Continue with the shingles, press the button, select your roof's planes, and in just a few clicks, your roof will be ready for rendering and use. Organize your new objects into a new layer and name this layer Roof 2 Shingles. By organizing, you can switch between the two types of shingles whenever you want. Once this is built, you no longer need the merged objects, and you can delete them. Now for example, if you want to modify your roof and extend it in a particular direction, you can do that again by using the Ah Helper plugin. This time, go to Actions, select Edit Poly, and use the Extrude command. Select the plane and extrude it by 400 units, add another extrusion in the desired direction, and complete your operation. You now have your updated building, but you need to create a new roof for it. Start by target welding some of the vertices like this. Then delete this edge because we don't need it and bevel this polygon by using the Ah Helper plugin. This time, enter values of 200 and minus 200 to achieve a 45 degree roof angle. Again, you need to weld some of these vertices and also use target weld to adjust them accordingly. Now that you have your roof, you can remove any edges you don't want to see, like this one. Next, you need to join the two roofs. First, delete these shingles. Then, move this vertex and cut the polygon like this.
Now that we have all these vertices created, we can delete some of the polygons and use the target weld to complete the operation. This gives us our updated roof. Let's remove this edge because we don't need it, as well as this one. Remove this one too, and we have this vertex that we don't need. Now that we've updated our roof planes, we can continue using our Smart Objects shingles. Go to the Scene Layers and make the Selected Objects layer active. To do this, simply use this action. Now as you can see, our layer is active and you can start building the ridge and hips of the new roof. With just a few clicks, we've updated the shingles on the ridge and hips of the roof. You can do the same with the shingles on the roof's planes. I'll build the shingles with just a couple of clicks. Once they're built, I can select them. If you first select the initial object and then select all new ones. Using the iHelper plugin, you can add all selected objects to the layer of the first selected object. To do this, execute this section. Now if you turn the layer on and off, you can see that all our objects are in the correct layer. This is a quick overview of our new free smart objects and our new iHelper plugin. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you soon with new updates and additional smart objects from Aviz Studio Tools. Thank you for watching.